Hello everyone. So in this video, let us talk about the three types of traversals on a n array tree. Okay. So you know about what is a binary tree. Now n array tree is just that in a binary tree, every node can have at most two child children nodes. But in a n array tree, a, a node can have at most n nodes. Okay. So it can have n children. That is the overall how a n array tree drawn. So let's say if I just draw it out, let's say of n array tree of four. So every node can have four children and then every node can have again four children or three children, two children, one children, three children, and then again, like maybe one children or no children and so on. So this is a N array tree of N equal to four. Fine. So now uh, we have to traverse this out. So what's the problem statement? The first is we have to do a pre-order traversal. So now uh, what you have seen is like there can be a pre-order and a post-order. So there's also a post order also. So in pre order, what we do is that we first print out what's the current node and then iterate over the children nodes. Okay. Or the other will like, and the post order will be we first iterate over all the children nodes and then print it out. Okay. So there are like different type of traversals. So what we actually do in this problem is that if you know what is the way of traversal is, I'll tell you in simple terms, what you, what we will be doing here is that we have the node. So in pre order, in the pre-order, what we'll first do is okay, let me print it out and then move to children node. So this is the like whatever the node is this, we'll print it out and then move to its all its children. Okay, so let's say that we move to this children first. Then we'll print it this out. Then we move to this children, print this out, move to this children, print this out. Then we backtrack, backtrack, move to this children, print it out, and so on. And in the post order, what we do, we first iterate of all the children. We don't print it out. So in this manner, let's say that we have this children. We have to go to this. We have to go to this. We have to go to this. Now, because it doesn't, doesn't have any more children. When there's no more children, then you print this out. Then you backtrack. Then you print this out. Then you backtrack. Then there's more children. You go to this, you print this out. This is the difference between what is a pre-order and a post-order. The different many tutorials out there on the internet that what is a pre-order traversal and post-order traversal. So, the only difference in the code is that whenever you are printing stuff out, you have to seek you like in printing out in pre-order, you first have to print out the value and then iterate over the children in post order, you first iterate over the children and then print out the value. That's the overall idea. Let us go to the code part. So this is the answer vector to print out the actual pre-order traversal. So this is the pre-order function that I called sending out this vector also. And this is the answer. Now what this uh, pre-order function does. If the root is null, then we print out like we just return out at this point of time. So in pre-order, what we'll first do, we'll first push out the, like the node on which we are the value of it. So as you can see that we are first pushing out answer dot push back the root node or the, like the node on which I am on, I am on the value of it. And then iterating with all the children. So uh, like using an order keyword using a for loop. So it has like maybe n children. So using a for loop to iterate over all the children of this root or the child of this root. Okay. And we will be what we will doing. We will be calling this pre-order function again with these childs. So this is the pre-order traversal. You can pause on this video. I will be posting out all the links of this code in the description. So don't worry. And the post order, as you can see that just remember this code, the post order is just the similar code, just the same code, nothing else. The only difference is that in this, we are just printing out the children first and then pushing out the answer in the answer vector. So as you can see that the, the two codes are just similar, only the, like these two lines are switched. So this is the post order and pre order traversal. Nothing more complicated. Uh, so in post order and pre order, we directly just use recursion. But there's also a traversal type that is the level order traversal. In level order, what we'll do, we'll like print out the trees in the level. So this is the first level, second level, third level. So whatever nodes are in the third level, we print it out, then the fourth level, and so on. So whenever we are doing a level order traversal, level order traversal. Then we, we generally use like uh, BFS and for BFS we use Q. So if, if you have the basic knowledge of BFS uh, but first search, then it will become very easy to you because in binary search also or in any other search, if you are using uh, BFS, then we can easily like we are can do the level of traversal. Okay. So now what we'll do in level traversal, we'll make a Q and what we'll do we will first push back the first, we'll pu first push the first node inside it. Okay. And then what we'll do whenever we have some thing inside the queue till the queue is not empty, we'll pop out the first node and whatever it's, it's children node, we'll push back all of them into the queue. So this is inserted, this is inserted, this is inserted, this is inserted. So this is the next level. 
So all of these four nodes, so let's let's them make them A, B, C, D, are pushed inside the queue, and this is popped out. When you are popping this out, you will be like storing out that okay, this is the first level. So whatever the elements are there inside the queue at a given moment of time are representing the first level, like representing a current level. So in ECS, the queue only has this first element. So the only element in the first level is one. Now, as you can see that all the elements in the second uh, row or the second level are there in the queue. So what you'll do, you'll iterate over all the elements in the queue, the, all the four elements, and that represents the, like that represent the fourth, like second level. Now going to the, the third level, all the children of all of these nodes are actually the third level. So all the children of these nodes are the third level. So what you'll do while iterating over the queue, you will be taking out all the children of these nodes and pushing back again inside the queue. So this is the general way how you do uh, BFS. So what you'll do, you will take out the first node and see that, okay, this is inside the queue. You will take whatever children it has and push back inside the queue at the back. Then you pop out one more element, push again the elements of it inside the queue. Because you know that you know that all the elements inside the queue, that is the first four elements before starting out this process of insertion, you know that the first four elements are the actual elements in the next level. So in the, in the second level, there are only four elements and all the elements inserted after that are just in the next level. So you will be only doing a for loop for the four elements, pushing out, like popping out the first four elements. And then you, when you first pop out all the four elements, you know that now the next elements are of the next level. So you continue doing the same thing that you will again pop out the elements and whatever children are it, you will be completely inserting that into the queue again. That's the overall idea how you can do this iteration. Let us move on to the code part now. So what we are doing here is that uh, uh, we have created a vector of vector that is because you're doing a uh, level or traversal. So for every vector, like the every position, I it's like second, first, third, uh, what you can do is that for every vector index, we have to store what are the number of elements or what are the, uh, what you can say nodes are there at that particular level. If the node is uh, like, like if the root is null, it actually means that there are no particular uh, nodes inside the tree. So we just have to return an empty result. So this is an empty only. Mm -hmm. And what we'll do to start out the BFS, we'll first make a queue of node star, which means that a uh, pointers to node uh, because we are only inserting the nodes only. So, and we push back the first node that is the root because we are assuming that root is not null because we have already checked it above. Okay. Now what we'll do here is that uh, we will be completely doing this while loop until the queue is not empty. Now we'll pop out and like see out what is the size of the queue because this will tell me that in the current level, what are the number of elements are there in the queue that represent the current level. Now what we will doing here is that we'll iterate over all the elements in the current level in the queue and we'll pop it out. And when we pop it out, what we'll do, we will insert out all the children of that particular node that we popped out in at the back of the queue. That's what we're doing here. And after that, when we have pushed back, what we'll do, we will insert the current node value that we have just popped out inside another vector, what you can say that current level or current. This represents the current level. So what we're just doing e easily is that we're iterating over the current level, inserting all the numbers in the current level, and also inserting the children of the nodes in the current level, push backing into like uh, inserting into the queue. That is how you do this for loop. And in the end, when the complete level is ins inserted in this vector that is current, we will be inserting that particular level nodes into this result vector of vectors. So this vector of vectors, so initially we are inserting all of the nodes inside a vector that represent all the nodes in a current level. And then we're inserting that level in, inside our answer vector because we have to store all the different levels inside our answer vector. This is the result vector. And in the end, we just return all the result. So this is the overall idea and logic for the first, like the third, three problems, how you can iterate over the n array uh, tree. So, so thank you for watching this video till the end. I will see you next one till I keep coding and bye.